G'day, g'day. Welcome to Easy Jeezy, Map and Me, Breezy. Now, in today's episode, we're going to be making multi ring buffer, uh, basically, a way of us showing or highlighting distance from a central point, okay, uh, which can be really useful when you're looking at distance decay or how things change with distance from a central point. So, in this case, this example here, we've got uh, some a simple land use map highlighting some different land uses at very sample point and we're going to be looking at the distance from the CBD and how some of these things might change and the multi-ring buffer tool is going to help us achieve this. I've got to be really quick because I've got to go buy some new fry pans um, so let's get started. So first of all I've got my CBD as you can see represented by the star and then I've got different land uses around here okay around the town. Um, now when I'm working with distance, I need to make sure that the map is in the correct projection. So uh, what I need to do, I need to, in this case, I need to reproject. So if you go to processing and go to toolbox and little processing toolbox over here, and I need to reproject a layer. Okay. Um, reproject the layer. <clears throat> Otherwise you won't be able to work with, with uh, specific units like meters or kilometers, etc. So my input layer in this case, I'm going to be using the CBD um, and my new projection. Now I, I actually know which one it is in this case, but uh, this is the one I'm going for, Seagas 2000 and it's UTM zone 23S. Okay, now basically you've got a bunch of these down here. You don't want, for this case, you don't want your geographic coordinate systems, you want your projected coordinate systems. and you know, I've gone through 23s. I know that this particular map region is located within this band. You've got other ones there. You can see different parts of the world, etc. Okay, so you're going to need to look up online perhaps to find out the one that you're dealing with. Sometimes the data already comes ready. In this case, it didn't. Okay, so I'm reprojecting into this uh, projection, this projected coordinate system. Okay, click OK. And then I'm going to say run. Should be pretty quick. There it is. Close. And I'm just going to right click, rename that reprojected CPD, just so I don't forget. And you can see it's made a little, it's hard to see, but it's made a little point on the exact same spot as our unprojected CBD or star. Okay, so once you've got that, then you can go to the next step, which is our multi ring whoops, expand it out multi ring buffer okay so if you type it in the search in the processing toolbox multi ring buffer constant distance constant distance sorry so the input layer we're going to use our reprojected cbd and as you can see we can deal with meters etc miles whatever if we just had our cbd it wouldn't work there okay distances in geographic degrees consider reprojecting to a projected local coordinate system okay so we reprojected luckily already so we can go ahead with this now first of all how many rings do you want so how many different steps do you want in this multi-ring buffer let's go with five steps in this case or five rings and the distance between each ring let's do 200 okay so that's going to give us a kilometer distance in total from that cbd okay from that star in this case or the point okay um let's go click run there you go okay now you can look at it we can see mm, actually we've got some points that are not covered there so maybe we need to do a few more so let's uh actually remove that let's right click and remove and let's say seven just to be safe okay so seven rings 200 distance 200 meters distance between each of them that's right. There we go. That looks like it's covered all our points. Yes. Okay. So we can close that down. Let's close you down for now as well. Okay. Now, obviously, this S doesn't necessarily help us so much. I mean, I guess you could drag your land use on top of that, but then you lose a lot of the context from the base map, etc. So let's not do that. Um, let's double click on here or right click and go to properties in our symbology for our fill. Uh, actually, let's go in here and fill color and say transparent fill. Click OK. So there we go. 
Uh, so that's straight away. We've gotten rid of that and we can see we've got our rings each at 200 meters distance from the CBD. Let me just drag the CBD on the top there. Okay. And I can actually hide the reprojected one now. I don't need that anymore. Um, so we can further improve this. Let's, uh, let's double click again on this. Let's go to labels. Oops. Let's add single labels. Okay. Now we want to create it from the distance uh, field in the multi ring buffer. So our distance field uh, for text, uh, well, we can change the font, etc. We want to add a buffer. Let's leave it at white for now, but actually, no, let's change it already. Let's go to something like that, like a mustardy yellow. Okay. Um, and we also need to change the placement. So we want Let's go using perimeter and let's make it on the line there. And there we go. Okay. Let's see if we get that. There we go. Maybe that looks a bit better. But anyway, you can play around as your heart's content. And there we go. So 200, 400, 600, 800, 1000, 1200 over here, 1400 over there. So there you go, you got that multi ring buffer. So when you're actually using your map, and again, maybe you can play around with the different sizes, you can, I mean, you can change the line of the of the rings, that's simple. And if you want stroke width, let's make it a bit thicker, actually, maybe it's too thick, something like that. So it stands out a little bit more. Uh, if you want to change the colors, stuff like that, you can you can do all that as well. Um, but what it can help with your analysis because you're looking here into, okay, within this first ring, that's 200 meters. And you can talk about the particular types of land use. So maybe for example, you only find high class residential 500 or 600 meters away from your CBD, nothing closer. Maybe you only find lower class residential within, you know, 800 to a thousand meters from the CBD, commercial, industrial, etc. So you get the idea it can really help with that analysis and can really be a nice way to present this uh, data and visualize it. Okay. Hope this helps and I'll see you next episode. Ciao.